Hi everyone, Fury here, and today I'm gonna show you on how to make your game from this to this. And all you really need is to have a program called Vshade, and all you really gotta do is is type in Vshade in Google, and then go down to download. And once you've done that, just press down, press download here, and then follow these exact steps. So once your download is complete, just go to the Vshade setup, and a window will pop up. And all you really gotta do is select game, and wherever AQ3D is on your Steam games. And all you gotta do is press that and it will automatically go to there. Since I already done it, um, I don't really need to do this. And then uh, what you wanna select is OpenGL. So after you select the game and press OpenGL, there will be a pop up window to, to download the effects for you. Uh, just press yes and then you'll be on your way. Alright, um, you won't have this exact screen on Reshade. But it's basically you want to press continue uh, on your screen and then there should be a red um, plus sign of course I'll show screenshots on this and you want to give it a name press uh, continue and then finish right around here and you basically get something similar to like this kind of screen and once you're done that um, I would like to just put this um, down here because most of the things you want are literally in here and it's pretty simple to add in the effects just click for to have it on for example this border and then click it to have it off pretty simple but for these you don't really have to go there unless you want a really specific look to it but yeah so you you're all set up now and I'm just gonna tell you the settings I use um, of course you can feel free to put in whatever you want for your kind of taste maybe you like darker colors maybe you like maybe light something along those lines all right here are my settings uh, you don't really have to have these certain settings but this is just a way I like the game to look like so I have adaptive sharpen to make uh, the edges a bit more sharper and be in light for a little extra glow so like around this firelight you can see the difference and clarity another way to make things a bit clearer colorfulness is basically just adding a bit more color to the game and HDR is basically some I don't know how you explain it, like um like little darker shades here and there so like the wood and everything else becomes a bit darker and I have FXA for more anti-aliasing and I have Luma Sharpen and then finally I have Vibrance and Luma Sharpen is just an extra sharpen that I add you don't really need this but I just really want it to be a little bit crisper so yeah and, I, and these these settings are also good for uh, um, for content creators uh, for you there for you guys out there um, where is one? Um, this one can make your game black and white. So if you're doing kind of like a little mystery, you can do that. Or if you're going for like this film grain kind of look, like with this emphasis, like little give it gives like a black and white kind of feel to it. So yeah, just mess around, have fun with it, and this is basically a way for you to mess around. And I'll also leave in the description on on um, the settings I think people would use and so yeah and I'll see you guys in the next video